So today I will do uh, an important problem. Uh, this is not related to this week's uh, lectures, uh, but this uh, this problem is very important. That's why I means I'm going to means do it. This is a problem from Hartshun, and this problem we can means use uh, uh, means apply this problem to solve many other problems. So first, let me state. I will do it as a proposition. But it is a problem from Hartshun. Proposition. So suppose x is a variety. A variety of dimension at least two. And suppose P is the point inside X such that X is normal at point P. Okay. Then the proposition states that uh, this regular functions on X, if I restrict it to is x minus this point p this is a restriction map then this will be an isomorphism okay so under this uh, this will be a uh, uh, isomorphism uh, so it means that any regular function on x minus p can be extended to a uh, regular function uh, on x and it is unique means like that we can uniquely extend and extend to a regular function in on x okay or, uh, we can extend a regular function on x minus p or we can uniquely extend to a regular function on x uh, here p is a uh, means at p x is normal at p and the codimension uh, the dimension of x has to be means at least 2 okay uh, but it is false when uh, means dimension is 1 dimension of x is 1 uh, we will I mean see in a counter example ok proof now first uh, that this map is injective it is easy that here to here this map x minus p restriction map suppose that f goes to 0 ok then uh, because p is a closed point so x minus p this is a dense and also uh, this x is a variety so we are assuming that it is irreducible so this x minus p is a dense open subset of x and f is 0 on uh, is equal to 0 on this x minus p because this x minus p is dense so it follows that that f is equals to 0 ok so from here it says that uh, this is injective this is injective Now we have to show the surjectivity part that is the most important part to show this restriction map this is surjective ok now first uh, we will uh, means reduce to the case uh, affine case without loss of generality we assume that x is affine means we have to consider the affine open covering and then we have to reduce to this case so means check check y why we can assume that this is x is uh, affine means how we can reduce to the case when x is affine ok. So now if I uh, if we assume that this x is affine then we have this o x x this is isomorphic to a x the coordinate uh, ring of x 
affine coordinate ring. So we have this. Now, uh, also we know that uh, OX P this is isomorphic to AX MP because P is here a normal point. So, OX P is integrally closed, integrally closed domain and AX this is a Noetherian domain. So, this localization will be also Noetherian domain. So, this is a integrally, this is an integrally closed Noetherian domain. Now, we will use a commutative algebra result, uh, commutative algebra result. Algebra result uh, refer Matsumura ok. So, the result states that means because this A x M p uh, localization and M p this is a uh, this is a yeah, integrally closed Noetherian domain. So, this is equals to intersection of all uh, means um, localization at all uh, height 1 prime ideals ok. So, this is in spec of A x M p means this is a prime ideal and height of q this is equals to 1. So, this follows from uh, this commutative algebra result you can see um, refer Matsumura's book. So, this is equals to intersection of all A x localization at q where q is a prime ideal of A x and height of q this is equals to 1 and q is inside M p is inside M p is contained in M p. M p is the uh, this maximum this maximum ideal correspond to the point p. Okay. Now, from our uh, means we know that height of M p this is equals to dimension of A x localized at M p. Now, this is equals to dimension of O x p right. Now, we know that for a means variety this is equals to this is same as the dimension of x. Now, we assume that dimension of x is at least 2. So, it says that height of M p is at least 2 and height of q here we have taken as 1. So, so it will be this containment will be strict containment. So, this containment. So, we can say that A x M p this is intersection of all A x localization at q where q is a prime ideal of A x height of q is equals to 1 and q is strictly contained in uh, M p ok. So, fine. Now, consider consider a prime ideal any prime ideal q of higher uh, of um, of uh, prime ideal of uh, A x with height of q is equals to 1 and uh, q is strictly contained in M p. We are considering any uh, any such uh, prime ideal. Now, v of q if we define this v of q means similar way that 0 set means all the points inside a x such, uh, such that phi of x this is equals to 0 for all phi inside q ok. So, this phi is a regular function on uh, means you know on x. So, something is inside a x. So, that is it. So, so we can show that this is a sub variety. This is a sub variety of x 
okay this is check this is a sub variety uh, these are means this follows means similarly how we define that for affine case affine space now p this is nothing but equals to the single and p this is nothing but equals to v of mp now v of mp is strictly contained in v of q because q is strictly contained in mp so this is strictly contained in this this means that uh, yeah so there are other points x uh, means inside vq uh, x uh, means uh, there are uh, means points inside uh, vq other than p so it means that now dimension of vq if you think this dimension is this is equal to dimension of ax mod q just check this is also easy okay now this is equals to we know that this is equals to dimension of ax minus height of q so this is equals to uh, a dimension of x minus 1 okay now also uh, means i of v of q this is defined as the all the means um, regular functions in on x means phi is inside a x such that phi of x this is equals to 0 for all x inside v of q okay so we can show that this is equals to q check okay so these things you have to check means this uh, these are easy verifications uh, now so from this uh, means all these uh, observations means uh, we can see that so every element we, uh, in ax mp is of the form is of the form g by h where g h are regular functions are regular functions on x with this d h intersection v q this is non empty here the d h is defined as the all the x inside capital x such that h x is not equal to 0 so this is an open subset of x okay so from the previous observation it follows means all the elements inside ax mp localized and mp is of the form this g by h sorry not ax mp here this is ax q sorry yeah uh, so every element in ax uh, localization at q uh, is of the form g by h where g comma h uh, g and h are irregular functions on x with this dh intersection vq this is non empty v of q uh, it is easy to see right because uh, you see that i of v of q this is equals to q so here our element inside uh, this ax localization at q it looks like some g by h where g is a regular function and h is a regular function and h is not inside q h is not inside q means h is not inside i of v of q means it means that this h does not entirely vanish on uh, means um, uh, vanish on uh, means uh, v of q. So, there are some points where it does not vanish inside v of q. So, it says that this d h d h is the means all the points where this h vanishes. So, uh, not not vanishes. Uh, so it it will intersect with v of v of q okay so this is what it means means every element is of the form okay and 
now let f inside uh, let f inside uh, we are taking a means regular function inside this on x minus p okay now for uh, for any point q not equals to for any point q not equals to p and q is inside v of q v of small q means the prime ideal q uh, this f can be written as mean, from the definition of regular functions means how we define regular functions on variety this locally looks like some uh, g by h right uh, g and h are some polynomial functions given by some polynomial functions so this f can be written as some g by h on dh minus p uh, means this is a open set dh d of uh, dh and it contains q okay just look at the means i am not writing anything means new these are all old things but we are means in a neighborhood of q there it has to be some g by h right so we are taking the a neighborhood as dh minus uh, pq uh, minus p okay because we are uh, means uh, doing it for something which is not equals to p for some q which is not equals to p okay and f is here not defined on uh, means uh, is defined on p x minus p so it is not defined yet defined on p at p so where g h are regular functions because regular functions on affine varieties are given by polynomials we have seen that right on x and this choice means we can find such p as uh, such q which is not equals to p inside v q uh, this follows uh, because uh, means uh, we have taken the yeah this follows uh, sorry yeah this follows because uh, since dimension of x this is greater or equals to 2 because dimension of x is greater or equals to 2 that is why means we can say that this uh, uh, the, that p is uh, uh, con uh, strictly contained inside v of q ok. So, there has to means there are other po means, uh, points inside v of q which is other than p. So, that is uh, means that is why means uh, this follows from, uh, means from the assumption that dimension of x greater equals to 2 ok. I just wanted to highlight it ok. So, this implies that this q is inside d h intersection v of q. So, it says that d h intersection v of q this is non empty. So, from the previous means from the this uh, assumption uh, means for uh, the observation we have done in this uh, previous paragraph. So, it says that this g by h. this is inside a x localization at q ok. So, ok fine now we are almost done, but we have to do uh, some more checking, but I am not going to do it I am just going to leave uh, for you to means check this thing this facts means from this previous observation. Now, you have to you see that here to here we defined means our regular function uh, on x minus p it gives uh, 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 an element uh, inside a x q localization at q right uh, which is g by h means uh, the way we define means this f is uh, means uh, g by h on some neighborhood of q ok. So, we have to show that this is independent of the choice of q means choice of capital Q this point q means we have uh, chosen a point which is not equals to p inside v of q 
that's how means we got a neighborhood and we got some g by h and for that that g by h this is this is inside some ax uh, this inside ax localization at q so we got an element inside ax localization at q so now i am claiming that this is uh, this choice i means this uh, here to here this map f goes to g by h this is independent of the choice of q so this is quite interesting thing uh, quite surprising thing actually yeah now next check that this ox uh, this is not yeah, difficult this previous checking uh, this checkings that uh, means i'm uh, means i'm telling you to check these things these are not difficult to check so now yeah so here to axq uh, localization at q from here to here we have some inclusion map you can say this is field of rational functions and this is equals to this field of fraction of this ax a of x so now f goes to g by h now here this goes to g by h means this is a inclusion map just now this is independent this is independent of the choice of small q this prime ideal q here now so this is another thing another interesting thing so if we can show this thing so it implies that if maps to uh, to an element in ax mp because of this commutative algebra result means that ax mp can be written as intersection of ax localization at q where q is height 1 prime ideal contain, contained in uh, mp strictly contained in mp actually yeah so so and this is isomorphic to we know that this is oxp right now so it says that f maps to an element inside this i mean under this map okay now from that again another checking check there exists a point there exists a uh, neighborhood uh, of p u say inside a uh, means uh, an open set u is open inside x and a regular function on this u such that this f restricted to u minus p this is equals to f prime restricted to u minus p so this is interesting right so uh, means uh, so we are saying that locally we extended this f uh, to uh, means uh, locally i uh, means uh, 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 yeah in a neighborhood of uh, p in a neighborhood of p we extended this f to f prime okay now from here it says that means it follows means very easily it follows means this f can be extended we first locally extended now we are we want to show that means we are we are saying that uh, we can globally extend also to a regular function on x this follows from shift property just check y so it says that f can be extended to a regular function on x so we are done so it says that this ox x to ox x minus p this is surjective so this is an isomorphism okay so here we used all these facts right means in this proof we use this fact that diamonds this assumption that dimension of x is greater or equals to 2 we use the fact that 
means this uh, x is a normal at p and also we use the fact that this uh, this is a variety means this is irreducible we use this thing we use all these things now i will show a counter example when it is not true a remark so here we are done um a remark uh, take uh, this a1 uh, take this uh, consider the point 0 inside a1 now a1 is uh, a1 is smooth means you can check we can check the means you know the partial derivatives and those things that way you can do it uh, so a1 is smooth uh, uh, everywhere so a1 is uh, regular actually so yeah so regular at 0 at the point 0 now if something is regular at the point 0 then it is normal at a point 0 because uh, you know that regular local rings are um, uh, UFD so uh, and UFD is integrally closed so regular local rings are closed uh, integrally closed so it says that this a1 is normal at at 0 okay so now but see that this function 1 by x this is a function uh, this is a regular function on this o a1 of a1 minus 0 okay so this is a regular function but we are claiming that it cannot be extended so we are saying that uh, a1 by x cannot be extended to a regular function on a1 on this a1 uh, otherwise we get a contradiction otherwise uh, there exist a polynomial say f of x inside uh, k x such that uh, x times f x f of x this is equals to 1 and this is a of course a contradiction and why we get such thing just verify just check these are easy things so we have seen that this uh, means uh, this proposition does not hold so the above proposition does not hold if dimension of x equals to 1. So, it is now interesting thing. So, uh, in our case means we know that um, example it a n p n uh, uh, they are normal uh, sorry are smooth we know so it means that uh, so it means that they are normal at each point okay so if they are uh, normal at each point then we can say that a n minus some point say p okay so we are we are saying that this o of this this is isomorphic to o of a n a n so this is nothing but we know already that this is k x one up to x n so similarly we can do it for p n means p n minus a point 
this is isomorphic to the regular functions on Pn and we know that they are nothing but constant functions. So, these things, these facts we can use and also we know that uh, you know product of two smooth varieties are smooth. So, it will be also the product of two smooth varieties also will be normal means suppose x and y are smooth. then x cross y is, uh, is smooth and then it says that this x cross y will be also normal uh, at each point ok. So, it is done ok. Uh, so, this uh, this proposition we can use uh, means uh, means to get the regular functions on the means on this open set this a n minus a point or means some variety minus uh, some a normal point. Uh, we can extend any regular functions uh, on this to the whole variety. So, this is an interesting thing. So, we can ok fine ok let me stop here. Uh, thank you.